Bengals in high spirits heading into their bye week. Mike Petralia inside Paycor Stadium here on Tuesday. The Bengals went through a pretty casual 60-minute walkthrough working on some special teams drills and pretty much just stretching the legs and also working on some individual drills. Uh, the Bengals realizing that you're not going to get a lot of work done in an environment like this. Even Brian Callahan acknowledged on Monday that the players' attention, it's like heading into school vacation at the end of spring, you're not gonna have a lot of people paying close attention to a lot of details, but you wanna get the players thinking about football one final moment before they head away from the organization for five days. They'll return on Monday and get ready for the Pittsburgh Steelers on November 20th. By the way, that Steelers game, it was announced by the NFL on Tuesday, has been flexed out of Sunday night football. A lot of players will be pretty happy about that. And that Steelers-Bengals game on November 20th in Pittsburgh now starts at 425 Eastern time. The game that was actually flexed into Sunday night football, Chiefs and Chargers. So Patrick Mahomes gets a little more primetime viewing experience and exposure there. But the Bengals will be uh, out of Sunday night football when they resume the second half of their schedule on November 20th. As for here on Tuesday... It was interesting to see, with all of the attention, all of the focus on the punting job, Drew Chrisman could be getting that job uh, and replacing Kevin Huber after the bye week is over. But Evan McPherson was taking his hand at a punting here on Tuesday morning. He got away about three or four punts, and a couple of them were actually booming 45-yarders. But again, don't expect Evan McPherson uh, to be in consideration for the job course if he does have to punt it means that an emergency situation has uh, taken place in a game and obviously he could serve as a punter but the Bengals are not going to put their place kicker their very valuable place kicker in any harm's way that is to be sure one bit of uh, news on Tuesday here inside Paycor Stadium Dax Hill was on the sideline in uniform he was also spotted in the locker room spoke to him he seemed in good spirits. He was able to raise his right, right arm above his shoulder, indicating that that shoulder is probably not in terrible shape. Uh, and I think uh, Zach Taylor saying on Monday that it is a week-to-week -week situation is another indication that the Bengals hope to have him back sooner than later. Also, DJ Reader, he was in the end zone going through some rehab work. And here on Tuesday, Lou Anarumo, the defensive coordinator, said the hope is to have him back for the Pittsburgh game on November 20th. We'll have to wait and see how that turns out. But it would obviously be a big boost to the Bengals' run defense if you have a number 98 back on the field. He is recovering from a left knee injury. Also, uh, the Bengals in the locker room before they left playing lots of ping pong. The spirits were very high, and everybody yelling and screaming at times when uh, certain points in the ping pong matches didn't go their way. Tyler Boyd, uh, Joe Burrow, uh, Trent Taylor, a lot of the usual suspects playing ping pong here on Tuesday. But the team is definitely in good spirits. They're 5-4 and four heading into the bye. One game behind the Baltimore Ravens, who, of course, won their Monday night game uh, in New Orleans, 27 to 13. So the Ravens six and three, and they are a full game ahead of the Bengals at five and four. We'll have you covered all week long and have complete uh, highlights from Monday and Tuesday up on the Jungle Roar YouTube podcast page. Be sure to click on the link below and subscribe. Uh, as always, follow me on Twitter at Trags T R A G S for an interview with Drew Chrisman. I posted on Twitter uh, from Tuesday afternoon. That is up there as well. And be sure to follow my content online at clnsmedia.com. Until after the bye, this is Mike Petralia inside Paycor Stadium, CLNS Media.